Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are doing the unboxing of the OnePlus 9 Pro. Along with that, we are doing a review and a comparison with the Galaxy S21 Ultra versus the OnePlus 9 Pro. So guys, let's get started with a quick unboxing. So here is the 12GB RAM variant. And yes, guys, this is the morning mist color of the OnePlus 9 Pro. You can see over here, then this is a 12GB, 256GB variant. So let me take the phone out. So guys, this is the device itself. So let's keep it aside and let's check what else do we get in the box. So guys, in the box, we are getting a 65 watt adapter over here. So that's really insane, guys. If you compare with the Galaxy S21 Ultra and the iPhone 12 Pro Max, they didn't have even a charger in the box. So with that, it's insane. That is a 65 watt charger and which charges to 1 to 100 in just 29 minutes. And here we have a USB type C to C. Uh, data cables and uh, apart from that on the box let's see what else do we get in the box yes guys uh, yeah guys so we are getting a case with the logo never said land one plus and apart from that we are getting some stickers that means a welcome sticker and uh, safety information quick start guide and some other that means red data red cable club then the SAR value and some stickers. So let's keep it everything aside. So guys, let's slide down the phone itself. Oof. Wow guys, so this is the morning mist color of the OnePlus 9 Pro. So apart from that, we have a stellar black and a pine green. The stellar black is sort of a matte finish and pine green is also a sort of matte finish. But this is a sort of glossy and it's an easily attached fingerprint magnet. So you can see if you observe really close, it can have fingerprint magnets. So finally guys, this is the device, the OnePlus 9 Pro. So you could guys see, so it's so even, even distribution phone, you can see guys, it's a 197 grams one. So if you compare the Galaxy S21 Ultra, it's uh, 227, but it is also evenly distributed. So you couldn't feel much difference in weight on both, but in real life, this is uh, lighter than the S21 Ultra. So guys, let's check the display configurations really quick. So guys, you can see the display. So this is a stunning and vivid display. You can see punji colors over here. And let me tell about the display configuration. This is an LTPO fluid to AMOLED LED display and which is uh, refresh rate is 120 Hertz and it's a uh, PP is 525 PPI and you can see the peak uh, crispiness over here. So let me zoom out a bit. So you could see it's really sharp guys. See, I'm observing really close. So from 25 pp and it's a quarter to one that means 1440p uh, into 3 to 1 6 pixels so it's really vibrant guys and one more thing is that it is capable of 1 billion color repression so that's even compared with the galaxy s21 ultra this is a, a bit superior in terms of the uh, color production color reproduction yeah so if you compare the galaxy s21 ultra it have 1440 to 3200 and a peak PPA of 915, 515. So that's a minor difference. Like we could say it's almost a tie if you compare with the S21 Ultra versus the OnePlus 9 Pro. You could see, and if I observe really close, I couldn't tell the difference between S21 Ultra. I had already used the Galaxy S21 Ultra. And I would say in display departments, both are exactly the same because both have 120 Hz of refresh rates. So both are stunning in terms of the color reproduction, color recurrence, and vibrancy. You could see the punji colors over here. You could see. So in terms of display department, there is a minor advantage for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. That means it can go the peak brightness to 1500 nits. If you compare it with the OnePlus 9 Pro, it is just 1300. So that's a minor advantage for the OnePlus 9 Pro. And uh, now the next thing is a bit of uh, sort of thing. That is, uh, this guy is from 2021 and this is having a Corning Gorilla Glass protection of 5 on the front and black sorry front and back with the aluminium frame but if you compare the galaxy s21 ultra it have the latest corning gorilla glass app that's the corning gorilla glass victors over there so i think uh, the corning gorilla glass 5 is being used on the galaxy s10 plus and all still the uh, the previous two generation previous one is using in the one plus nine pro so i think that's some sort of thing is being under the cost cutting measures and all and anyways let's leave it it's still a corning gorilla glass 5 it's a nice protection over there so guess one more thing is that we are in the stereo speakers. Let's uh So 
So guys, a nearly nice surround sound effect. But if I compare with the Galaxy S21 Ultra, I think the S21 Ultra does this slightly job better. So if in terms of display, I really like both because both have the 120Hz refresh rate and both have the dynamic, that means the quality plus resolution almost near same PPA. So, but the production is for the S21 Ultra because of the coding Gorilla Glass 7 over Victus on the S21 Ultra versus just coding Gorilla Glass 5 over here. So I think that's an advantage for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. And along with that, the stereo speaker is slightly better on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So because it's almost a type but it's my advantage for the galaxy s21 ultra now the big game that's a hasselblad thing on the camera so what is hasselblad and how does it improve on the galaxy sorry on the oneplus 9 pro actually hasselblad is a collaboration of about three year partnership between uh, oneplus and hasselblad and uh, in my opinion i think yes the color calibration is done better but if you compare the previously one plus eight pro and all everything was perfect but except the camera was just average that means it's a near flagship series but this time it have entered the flagship category but not even comparable to the s21 ultra and all so i would tell the configurations really quick so this camera is a 48 mb main camera which is capable of f 1.8 then we have an 8 mb telephoto camera which is 3.3x optical zoom and then we have a 50 mb that's one of the main favorite which is i like on the one plus and that is 50 mp ultra wide camera it captures too much detail guys extremely too much details i will show an example right now and it's capable of f 2.2 and then at last we have an negligible 2 mp monochrome camera that's of no use guys it's is sort of a color filtered camera and all and on the front oneplus is using a 16 mp uh camera and it is using by too much I still it's nice but not uh that is sort of a high-end hype camera and all and if you compare with the galaxy s21 ultra's camera so that's the main camera is 108 mb versus just a 48 mb so you much you are getting too much detail in terms of main camera that we have dedicated 180 mb more which uh, the photo seems to be aware around of 35 to 40 mb so that's just, if you zoom in too much and then crop and then if you take a screenshot still it's a nice um quality of photo or if you still crop from that main 180 mb photo still you could get awesome pictures so in terms of that i would give away for the uh, samsung and then the next 8 mb telephoto versus 210 megapixel telephotos on the s21 ultra and it's capable of 100x zoom versus that means a 10x optical versus just a 3.3x optical over here so that's not even comparable guys so that's a clear win for the s21 ultra again and now it's the clear win for the one plus nine pro that's a 50 mp ultra wide guys so i you won't believe that the, i have taken a shot which i really like that i will show you right now so where yeah so guys this was a shot guys and if i see this is a 50 mb ultra wide shot and you could see everything is in perfectly in detail guys so if you observe over here this is still in detail and if you observe over here this is still in detail. if i come back with the samsung it takes the shot at a glance we may feel the both shots are same but if you zoom in a bit that's uh, the the amount of quality that means the quantity of pixels over here is a bit less that means even a smoothened image or something like that because the samsung just have a uh, what we call a 12 mb ultra wide camera versus a 15 so that's a clear advantage for the one plus nine plus so it's getting too much sharp details you can see over here the even the skies and the top the coconut trees and everything is in perfectly in sync so and we are also getting a shot on oneplus x hasselblad over here so that's really nice i really like the uh, ultra wide camera and one more thing is there now the exactly what does the hasselblad does actually the oneplus that means along with the sony uh oneplus made the sensor and then allow the hasselblad to make the color color that means color calibration so this is the after effect so what does this is uh, previous samsung phones have a much color vibrancy if you compare with the normal phones and all samsung phone is too sharp in the colors that means if the red is too red and if the greens are deep greens and also so same thing happens over here guys you could see the greens are so sharp greens so you can see in previous generations it's a sort of a pale green and all but in this time with the Hasselblad collaboration and all it detects some of the uh, normal shots and to convert after the processing it converts to a much higher the dynamic range uh, photo so you could get so sharp and punchy photos but if you compare the galaxy s21 series even with the galaxy um, s20 or uh, something like that still you could get the same results over there but now the oneplus step up the game to this level so i think the Hasselblad collaboration done some thing in meaning but not worth the hype it's still an entry level flagship i would say an entry level flagship not as good as the s21 trend roll. but still it's nice guys and this is a shot which is taken on the front camera you could see i'm um, looking good but actually i 
Vectarian feel that it's a, a flagship cab. It uh, does the job bet nice but not up to the mark as a flagship category of 70k i would actually this is using about five years i think the sun oneplus is using this camera that means the 16 mb same camera for about uh five or that means about in three generations and all so i think this is a time to upgrade this camera module on the front and now let's move to the uh fingerprint so this is an ultrasonic sorry this is an optical fingerprint scanner you could see but if you compare the galaxy s2 ultra they have an ultrasonic fingerprint and if you guys didn't know the ultrasonic means it's a 3d fingerprint scanner versus a 2d on the oneplus 9 pro so that's doesn't make sense so but both are extremely fast you could see three two one go this is extremely fast yeah one time just missed one one more time in three two one go guys and uh so this is a face recognition in three two one and go that's both are guys fine guys but in terms of security that's a minor advantage for the uh s20 ultra and in terms of face recognition i would say the face recognition is faster on the oneplus 9 pro than s20 ultra so it's a bit second or a half of a second delay in the s20 ultra because i used in the face recognition is very great on the oneplus 9 pro now look at that hype specs that's this guy is having a 4500 mh battery and uh, has 65 watt charger which charges in 30 minutes one from 1 to 100 so that's really insane guys and if you compare with the galaxy s10 ultra it didn't have a charger even in the box you should uh, buy a charger extra that's a 25 watt charger so i think in terms of charging department this is the winner clear winner i would say the clear winner and in terms of wireless charging 50 watts of wireless charging versus the galaxy s2 ultra just one five versus five zero so that's really insane even not even comparable but it's make the margin even close because of the 4500 mh versus 5000 mh so we are getting a 4500 mh battery with the 120 hertz of refresh rate on this phone and if you are a high-end user you would use at the quad hd plus since i'm a high-end user i'm using its quad hd plus to experience maximum smoothness at all so i would do recommending going to the quad hd plus along with the 120 hertz so so in 4500 mh i am getting about near a day or even i would say about 18 hours or something nearly 18 hours if i am uh, i am sort of high end user so i am nearly getting 16 to 18 hours but in the s21 ultra i could easily get about uh, 24 hours so that's uh, really make the difference between so 18 versus 24 about six or four hours of difference in both so i really like that battery backup is on the uh, s21 ultra but that uh, margin is closed with the uh, 65 watts of charger which charges in about if you charge uh, 10 minutes you could get about 50 percentage on so that's uh, almost a tie in terms of that department also then if you compare the colors so this is the morning mist color of the oneplus 9 pro apart from that we are getting a color called stellar black which is a sort of matte finish so you couldn't get fingerprint magnets and all and then apart from that you are getting a pine green color so it's a sort of a nice cool green which is sort of matte finish and then if you come at the galaxy s21 ultra we are getting two colors that means a sort of overall color, color that means we can call it that phantom silver and then we have a color called phantom black that's a sort of matte finish so phantom black versus the stellar black are the two metallic finish if you are a black favorite love person who loves black and all now let's come to the main thing that's the pricing so this is a 12 gb 2 gb variant which is available at 16999 and uh if you compare the galaxy s20 ultra the same is available for one lakh six thousand rupees but currently in amazon you can get around ninety three thousand to ninety five thousand uh, without offer that means without having any offer of the watch and uh, the galaxy buds offer so you can directly go to the amazon and purchase this phone directly but without the benefits of the watch and uh, galaxy buds and so there's still 70,000 versus 95 there is a huge gap so in that i would say that would say clear win for the one plus nine pro not a clear win but actually the module of the camera i really like in the s20 ultra in terms of display department display department both are tie and one department that's the one plus nine pro rs is the processor so it's having the latest snapdragon triple eight that with the Hadron 660 chip and if we compare the galaxy s20 ultra it has just the exynos 2100 with mali g78 mp14 chip so that's a clear advantage but if you compare the previous generations of the galaxy s20 and not 20 it's had the exynos 980 but from that samsung took a huge uh upgrade guys because the exynos 2100 is really good actually i 
played Call of Duty and didn't experience any sort of lag on the Galaxy S20 Ultra. It was super battery smooth and I was getting around 58 to 60 FPS all the time while I was playing the Call of Duty. And here is also the same experience. It didn't move from even 60 FPS, almost stable 60 FPS in the Snapdragon AAA. So that's really insane at all. And the Snapdragon, how Snapdragon chipsets have more support for the games and all because they have better optimization related to the uh, Qualcomm and also that's a better optimization. So in terms of if you're a heavy ultra core gamer, still um, OnePlus 9 Pro have a minor advantage uh, because of so if you play continuously uh, the one the SD Ultra have a minor heating issues especially in the frames and all in the OnePlus 9 Pro also you could experience it, but a bit higher on the SD Ultra but it cools really quick but uh, in terms of gaming I would uh, give the clear win for the OnePlus 9 Pro so uh, let's uh, categorize really quick so it de uh, purely depends upon the priority guys so I would uh, based upon the priority so if it's uh, display both are tied display and speakers both are tight but a speakers a minor advantage for the s20 ultra in display both are really great i would give a tie in terms of displays now cameras i would say it's a clear win for the s21 ultra but the ultra wide is really really great on this guy and in terms of front camera also I, that's a clear win for the galaxy s20 ultra because that's a 40 mp shooter on the s20 ultra versus just a 16 mp so you're getting too much detail in s20 ultra so that's a clear win for the s20 ultra also and now the chip that's a clear win for the oneplus 10 pro because of its uh, snapdragon triple eight chip and all and apart from the charging department i would give the win for the um, 9 pro because of the 65 watt charge and they are kept in the box itself you don't need to pay extra so i would give the charging department for this guy because of the wireless charging with 50 watts 65 watts of charging which could charge at one to hundred in just 29 minutes so guys uh, apart from that it's upon your personal preference and uh, if you're a sort of a note user that means who could make use of s pen and all still the s20 ultra have the support for the s pen and one more thing is guys, there is no notes release that means no note 21 this year only having the c43 so if you're a sort of using note uh, 20 and all wish to upgrade you could directly upgrade to s20 ultra because you could use a even s pen if you additionally buy it and uh, still living in the samsung one ua and one more yes guys so one ua versus oxynoise and i would say in a quick example so if with this one ua means you are uh, getting a shop with all brands of nike puma adidas every shop center you could choose from the plenty of varieties you are getting the best still you could have a plenty of varieties but in the one that means in the oxynoise it is a branded show that's it still just a nike showroom or just an adidas showroom and you could you are getting the best products out of adidas but it's limited only limited uh, rows are available but in terms of the one you are getting much customization as it's hype guys even if you compare the horizontal lighting versus edge lighting there is ton of customization that means 100 plus versus 5 plus that is 5 plus customization on the uh, what we call on this guy one plus nine pro versus 100 plus customization in the uh, just the edge lightning over there on the s21 that means the one ua series so that's all regarding the unboxing review and the comparison with the galaxy s21 ultra versus the oneplus 9 pro so guys if you like this video uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe thank you guys